We're about to register Silent Hunter Wolves of the Pacific. Just double click your icon like you would in Windows. Uh, you shouldn't be seeing that. That's from me not hooking up my icon to sh4.exe. It should, it should not be hooked to that uh, crazy gu.exe. causes problems with the game. What comes up first is your product activation screen, and I'm not going to show you any of my numbers, but uh, you put your numbers in there, go down, hit activate uh, manual, and it'll uh, activate your game. As soon as that happens, exit the game. Do not play it. Alright, now what we're going to do is we're going to cannibalize some information off of my Windows installation. But first we're going to see where uh, this game is installed. Uh, enable hidden files, go to Wine, Drive C, Program Files x86, and all the way down there, there's Ubisoft right there, Silent Hunter Wolves of the Pacific. That's the uh, pristine game file here. We'll stop while I load up my uh, my Windows directory, I think is what we're going to do. But right now we're going into the data directory where we're going to install um, JSGME, MultiSH4, and Large Address Aware. So uh, we're going to pause it. There's the Windows directory. This is from my Windows drive, which isn't even working right now, but all the data is just fine. So we went into the Silent Hunter Wolves of the Pacific directory. We're looking for JSGME stuff. There's three of them there. Jones Soft Text. Don't forget that. Come on, click on it. Click. Stupid. Okay, let's, uh, yeah, let's get that one. There's Large Address Aware right down there. Down, down, down down. I've got to coach this guy or he doesn't do what he's supposed to do. And then finally, what we're looking for is multi-sh4.exe and the HM file there for... And we'll do a little scan and see what else we can find. There's all the screenshots from my Windows version. Isn't that cool? And they're wasting time here in the video. Why not? All the stuff in my Windows installation is just sitting there waiting to be cannibalized. So we just grab all that stuff now. And what we're going to do is we're just going to drag those right out of Windows and drop them into Ubuntu. Let's do that right now. First we'll get inside the directory, I think. Nope, nope, nope. Going to drop it on a directory. Okay, drop all that stuff on there. What I'm doing right now is hitting the shift and alternate and uh, control keys to make sure that I'm copying it instead of moving it. And do the quick scan. Hey, there's multi-SH4 right there. We just missed it. There's that stupid GU.exe. GU Certainly don't need that. Alright, close. Now, we're going to create a new folder called SH4 Pristine. Why? Because this thing's going to be locked up tighter than Fort Knox and we're going to copy everything from Silent Hunter Wolves of the Pacific into that brand new directory. We've got everything we need to run the game already in Silent Hunter Wolves of the Pacific. So here's where we go. We're going to go here. Control A to copy it all. That seems mighty familiar. Control uh, okay. Uh, co uh, copy too. Come on. Copy. Okay so many ways to do this. Now paste. Now we are filling it up with how many thousand files? 20,057 files to SH4 Pristine. Now this directory is not going to be a directory we ever play the game out of, so we want to make sure we protect this thing. We don't want to be able to write to any of these files. We don't want to be able to delete them. With Ubuntu, there's a way to protect them from being deleted, which isn't present in Windows. We'll do the pause trick again so that we don't have to watch the whole blasted thing. Make it less boring than it really is. Pause. See, you can't see me read. Restart it because it's paused while I'm restarting it. Now all the way to the end. Seven seconds. One second. And there all the files are. Isn't that cute? Now we have a separate directory which has all the files. 
that you need to play the game. Now the tricky part. We are going to right click and choose properties. Oh, this guy is slow. This guy is slow. There we go. And we click on permissions. And look, the owner can create and delete files. Well, let's fix that. Make the, so the owner can only access the files. Now the files cannot be deleted, something unique to Ubuntu. And we can change the files to read only. So now in 2.3 seconds, we have made these files impenetrable by normal means. Access files. That's right. Change all. Now these guys are locked up tighter than Fort Knox. Yeah, don't share the folder. That's right. Don't do that. Looking good. Looking good. Now in Ubuntu, you don't hit an actuate button or a go button. Once you do it, it's just changed. See the lock on the icon up there? We're going to just verify that all this has been done. Look, it's all just, everybody can only access it. They cannot delete it. They could not write to it. That is now a protected directory.